What are we doing, Big Sean? We are on our way to a staple here in Venice, which is the firehouse. Uh, every day after training, this is where you can find it. I sit and enjoy wonders that Venice has to offer. <laughs> I don't go to the beach. I sit and I eat. It's reflect up in me getting my ass kicked and, and, and just eat and relax. <laughs> it's more like a torture, but you know, I enjoy it. There's a reason why I'm here. That's mm -hmm. the reason why I'm here. So improve up on everything there is for next year. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be a great Olympia with Jay coming back. Someone asked me yesterday if I'm ready for uh, the Jay and Phil show. <laughs> Yo, what do you think about that? What do you think about Jay coming back? Listen, man, if that was the case, they should just tell the rest of us to stay home. <laughs> you think he's going to bring that uh, 08 package that he did back then? We opened so. Was it 08 or 09? No, 09. 09 when he, packs when he, uh, he came out took, looking took like it back a, from De Dexter. Exactly. He came back with a smaller waist. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, I don't know. If that was the case, man, they should just tell the rest of us to stay home. Nobody show up. Yeah. It's going to be a rematch between Phil and Jay. Yeah. And Sean. I'm not trying to say I'm the best bodybuilder, but part of my French. Fuck that. <laughs> Sorry, man. <laughs> I'm busting my ass here. Not to go and watch, you know, Jay and Phil duke it out while everybody is standing on the sideline. You know, it's going to be a very good Olympia. I mean, everybody's should be bringing the A game, and I know with Jay coming back, Phil is going to be pumped. And of course, if I got to crawl over Jay and Kai to get to Phil, that's how it's going to be. All right, here we are. Here we are. Try to. It's like you know. I know that me being here is for one reason, one reason only. So I don't have time to hang out and do all that stuff. I just I focus on why I'm here. How are you doing? We're back again. <laughs> I, 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 he almost did it on the way out. I didn't get a knee touch. You did? Oh, I'm going to stick my heels together. You got some good height, huh? <laughs> What's your vertical like? About three inches. Good. <laughs> good. Good place to start. And, that, and that's a good day. You can only go up from there. I'm working on it. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you're really bad. <laughs> All right, so what are we ordering here? Come on, let's, let's open the menu and show them what you got. I am gonna go with the chicken and waffles. <laughs> Everything is good, man, you know, but again, I'm a creature of, of habit, so, you know, I told myself on day one when I came here, I'm gonna go for one thing and one thing only, and if it tastes good, I'm gonna stick with it every day that I stop by, and, Came to the conclusion that the Bob Bowl was really good. It's your deal. It's your bag. I've stuck with the Bob Bowl for two and a half weeks. <laughs> what about what about? You're gonna start calling it the Sean Bowl here pretty soon. And pancakes. I don't want to mess you up. Man. Yeah, just kind of. And I love pancakes too. So, what time do you guys open in the morning? Eight. Huh. I have to do my second meal here tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Two and a half weeks. Two and a half weeks later, you figure that out. Let's see, nobody told me that I could have steak and pancakes. Steak, pancakes, and eggs. Egg whites. I'm gonna go with the bobble, please. Bobble, go ahead. Medium well. Medium well. No peppers, no onions. No peppers, no onions. White rice. See, I'm a creature of habit. <laughs> I'm gonna do the, the <laughs> lazy ass and hold the camera. <laughs> It's just it's good for me to come here and I people watch in the afternoon. <laughs> yeah, totally. Be down on the boardwalk. So you haven't even been on the boardwalk once. Two and a half weeks. Boardwalk's two freaking blocks over and you haven't been there. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I've seen all the freaks. You haven't even seen Muscle Beach. Yeah, I might do that. Get you in your little skivvies and get you working out. I might try that this week, man. <laughs> but uh, I just, <laughs> I, only, I think the furthest I've been is to the mall. And outdoor mall in Santa Monica, I think. I went to GNC to do an autograph signing last week. Um, besides that, I just. And I keep everything central, and, and I eat, train, and sleep, man. You know, I can't deviate from my plan, and, you know, in my head, I'm just following the path that I had set for me by myself in October, after I got my ass beat by Mr. Dennis Wolf from Prague. Uh, that was my motivation, and then... After finding out that I'm not a threat, I have those tattoos on the inside of my eyelid. So every time I close my eyes, I can see it. Every time I blink, I see I am not a threat. So that's my motivation for 2013. <laughs> I am so focused right now that I kind of help the freeze over and I'll just walk out and still be in this journey. In this journey. It's like you, you don't know how bad, I don't think anybody understands how bad I really am looking forward to 2013. I think maybe only Chris and Cedar know because we spend a month in the road in Europe and we've been traveling since Tampa Pro together and he sees and knows you know, how bad. Let's see if I can find a text. That's from Chris. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> uh, this is the conversation that I have with Chris. <laughs> he takes this very very serious and um, I like that about him because I know going into going into any battle I might not walk out with the biggest gun <laughs> but I know I got all the cannon blazing right behind me <laughs> and he's taking this here as serious as I am with our preparation for 2000 and 13. And the simple fact that just knowing that he you know, worked with uh, Jay Cutler in the past, and we also chained up the Iron Man. You know, saw how he looked when he won the first Olympia. You know, Chris has been working with him for a very long time, and you know, to be able to bring that you know, package out, you know, bring Jay to the forefront, because I know when Jay turned pro, you know, nobody expected him to do what he did. And, uh, you know, if he took that you know, personal and took that one step further and said, hey, you know what? I'm gonna do this just because you tell me that I can't. And to see what he has achieved, you know, in many years, you know, that speaks volume on its own. So, you know, that's my kind of attitude right now. The can do attitude. You know, I want to do this because, also, because you told me that I can't. Uh, it's going to be great here, folks. Uh, the person that helped me to get back into turning pro. And helping me to get back in the sport, uh, someone I actually called my brother, which is uh, you know Fred Smalls, uh, Fred Biggie Smalls. Uh, you know he's doing it too, and I wish them all the luck and all the best. And hopefully he can make it back to his second Olympia. Uh, we talked about this ever since we were kids, we were teenagers, about 
in the tour plus to be in the same stage that happened last year. And, you know, I know he's busting his ass right now to be back on stage. And I know Ed is a little bit pissed because of last year and you know, being overlooked at a few shows. Uh, this is great. <laughs> I can live out here, man. This is very nice. Once <laughs> you get a taste of it. Man, it's a calming effect on me. Especially after getting your butt whipped, your ass kicked by Charles, and you get a chance to just sit back and realize, okay, that was that was tough. And, and I get to relax the rest of the day. You know, besides you know, the sacrifice that you're making, you know, being away from your family, that, close friends, you know, your loved ones are the one that, you know, feel it the most because you're out here focusing on you. That's the reason why sometimes bodybuilding is such a selfish sport because, you know, you have to take the focus away from everything else that's around you. And it's just all about me, 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 you know, because you got to be ready, you know, for your show. You got to put everything in it. And... If you're not surrounding yourself with people that understand the sacrifice that you know, you're making, you know, it's not just harder than them, you know, it's even harder than you because you're missing out on a lot of stuff, you know, you know but if one thing that I learned, you know, at the end of the day, you know, as long as you have the right people in your corner, the right people that surround you, they will understand the sacrifice that you're making and why you're making the sacrifice. If you're on an island by yourself, uh, yeah. Do you guys like hot sauce? You smell that? It's beef, right? Did you say that before? It's beef. Yeah, exactly. He doesn't eat meat. <laughs> Yeah, that's not me, that's chicken. <laughs> See that, folks? That's my post workout meal every day. Two cups of rice and uh, about 10 ounces of beef. And I eat to grow. The secret. That's awesome. I gotta put my uh, secret ingredients in. I sprinkle with a little bit of. I'm getting big. <laughs> Actually, folks, what I just sprinkle on it is uh, the secret ingredients to Ronnie Coleman getting big. I got that shit personally to me. You guys don't know what it is, but that's how Big Ron became Big Ron. You break that out of the closet, and this little box, the black box that he had hidden in his basement, ship it all the way from Texas. So I can have it here every day after I train. Approved by Chris Ocito. TM. That's a trademark. <laughs>